the OneBot S2 Mini. Hello everyone, welcome to Brian Unbox. In this video, we're gonna look at the OneBot S2 Mini electric bike. Here's a look at how the bike comes in when it's delivered. It's packaged well and it's double box, not too heavy compared to your typical e-bike packaging. There's really no assembly required. Everything is pretty much assembled and you can be up and running in no time. With the bike, you get the charger, seat, and user guide. Just to highlight the assembly process, basically you have to unfold the handlebar stem and lock it into place, adjust the handlebar angle, and install the seat, and adjust the height accordingly. And that's pretty much it. Going over some specs, the bike comes in two colors, blue, pink, and in gray. This has a magnesium alloy frame, small compact design that weighs in at 39 pounds, 250 watt rear motor, 6,000 milliamp hour battery pack, LCD display, three pedal assist levels, twist throttle, 15 and a half mile per hour top speed with a range of 19 to 32 miles, front lights, front and rear fenders. A walkthrough around the bike, you'll see that the front has a folding mechanism, the front light, 14 inch tires, mechanical disc brakes, and front fenders. Towards the middle and the rear, you have the charging port, the battery, kickstand, mechanical disc brakes, and rear fender. On the other side, you can see the 250 watt rear motor. Looking at the handlebar area, you have the brake levers, LCD display, controls, the horn, and twist throttle. To power up the bike, just press the M button on the left side. Once powered up, pressing the M button again will cycle through the trip, odometer, and time. Pressing the plus button will increase the pedal assist levels 1 through 3, and pressing the minus will decrease it. Holding down the plus button for a few seconds will activate the front light. Now looking at the bike, you can see it's it's very compact and it's it's really light, extremely portable. Um, as far as folding it, the 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 handlebar stem does fold. Um, you have the uh, safety uh, button here, so you just want to press on the red button, pull on the lever, and then uh, you know the the stem folds down and makes it a little bit easier um, when you're putting it in your car. Um, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it as far as you know uh, folding it and here you can see how easily it is to transport in the back of my SUV now I'll show some footage of the bike in use I'll test it out on rough terrain show the different pedal assist levels throttle test the brakes see how it does uphill downhill and then give my thoughts now I'm gonna do the uh, rough terrain test um, I'm not really expecting much from uh, this type of bike but you know let's see how it does uh, Let's see how it handles the bump. Uh, this trail is uh, pretty bumpy. Okay, here we go. All right, you're definitely uh, feeling the bumps. Yeah, it's probably best just to keep it on, you know, uh, smooth uh, surfaces now I'm gonna do the uh, speed test I'm gonna start off with the pedal assist this has three levels uh, we'll go through each level and see how fast it goes after that I'll do the uh, twist throttle okay so pedal assist one here we go All right, 10 miles an hour, pedal assist two. About 13 miles an hour, and pedal assist three. <laughs> Looks like maxing out at about 15.6 miles per hour. All right, so with the uh, pedal assist, we reach 15.6 miles per hour. Now I'm just gonna use the twist throttle. Okay, here we go. 
One thing you notice, once you start accelerating, there is a lot of torque and uh, the front tends to lift up a bit. So you wanna kind of balance your weight and lean forward. All right, so we're at 15.1. Uh, Fifteen point five. All right, so it looks like, uh, all right, fifteen point nine. All right, so we're topping off at fifteen point nine miles per hour. Now I'll test out the brakes. I'll take it to max speed, and once I come into view, I'll hit the brakes, and you can use the parking lines as reference. All right, now time for the uh, uphill test. Um, this uh, road has a nice gradual incline. Um, we have established that uh, with the twist throttle, we hit 15.9 miles per hour. So let's see if we can maintain that speed or if we lose speed. Um, as soon as we begin the, the uh, uphill climb, we'll establish a good speed and then I'll tell you what that is and see if we can hold it. Okay, here we go, uh, uphill test. You can hear the uh, motor, it's uh, fairly quiet, pretty much in line with a lot of these types of e-bikes. Uh, it's not too loud. All right, we're at 15.9 uh, now and we're gonna begin the climb. I could already see it's losing a bit of speed. And you can probably hear the motor. 14.2 right now and holding. Okay, not bad. I thought we would lose a little bit more, but uh, yeah, it's powering through here. We're holding 14.2 miles per hour. It's gonna go down here a little bit through this turn, so let's see how it does. So going uphill, uh, we began the climb at 15.9 and just uh, lost minimal speed down to 14.4, 14.6. So not too terribly bad. Um, actually quite impressive. You know, I thought, like I said, I thought we would lose a little bit more speed. Um, so let's go ahead and do the downhill test. Uh, we're definitely gonna pick up some speed. And as I approach that turn, um, I'm probably gonna have to slow it down. All right, here we go, downhill test. All right, we're at 16, 17, 18, 19. Just gonna let it glide here. Nice and stable. We're at 17 now, picking up some more speed. Seventeen point seven and holding. Now we're at eighteen. Here are my thoughts on the bike. You can be up and running in no time as there's really nothing to the assembly process. The build and quality is solid. It feels well put together and it's lightweight. I like the gray color with the orange accenting. There were no scratches or imperfections on the bike. Most of the cables are ran through the bike and nothing really sticks out, except for the front portion, which is hidden by the cable management sleeve. I like the fenders along with the front light, but would have liked to have seen some type of rear light. The ride was fairly comfortable. The saddle is a bit on the firm side, so you may want to swap that out for something softer. There were no rattles, vibrations, or noises, and it felt stable throughout my testing. The handlebars are easy to adjust, and being able to fold it makes transporting it a bit easier. The handlebar is a good length as well. Rough surfaces will be a bit of a challenge. It will get bumpy as you saw through my testing, and it's probably best just to keep it on smooth surfaces. The 250 watt motor was surprisingly powerful and quiet. Having most of the weight in the rear when you sit, the front wheels tend to pull up. 
so you want to balance and distribute your weight evenly. It was able to handle the inclines with just a little speed loss. On pedal assist 3, I reached 15.6 miles per hour. With the twist throttle, I was able to reach 15.9, and this has an estimated top speed of 15.5 miles per hour and a range of 19 to 32 miles. This will also depend on the pedal assist level, throttle usage, weight, and environment that you're in. The brakes were strong and grabbed on quick for it being a small frame and lightweight. There's good stopping power. The LCD display is simple and intuitive, easy to read even on sunny days. Overall, I feel the bike performed well for its design. It's nimble and was enjoyable to ride around. You'll be able to get around with no issues. It's easily transportable and has a small footprint. I can see this being used for a last mile commute or for those that are seeking something ultra portable. So that is my review of the OneBot S2 Mini electric bike. If you like my video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, this is Brian Unbox. Take care, everyone.